वेलकम टू प्रिया ठाकुर ट्यूटोरियल्स आज की वीडियो का टॉपिक है क्रोमोजोम बैंडिंग सो लेट इस टॉक अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट क्रोमोजोम बैंडिंग पेरिस कॉन्फ्रेंस इन 1971 डिफाइंड बैंड एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ क्रोमोजोम व्हिच इज क्लियरली डिस्टिंग्विशेबल फ्रॉम इट्स अर्जेसेंट सेगमेंट्स बाय अपेयरिंग डार्कर और लाइटर with various banding methods the dark bands are the positive bands while the light bands are the negative bands let us talk about the definition of chromosome banding the chromosome banding is the study of chromosome number and the structure by staining the dividing metaphase cells with certain dyes and then examining them under microscope for cytogenetic analysis is called chromosome banding there are mainly four types of or we can say there are four techniques of the chromosome banding these are g banding r banding q banding and c banding the g banding refers to the jimsa banding in g banding technique the chromosome undergo mild proteolysis that is the breakdown of proteins with with trypsin jimsa dye or staining is used in it that's why it is also known as jimsa banding or g banding in this technique the darker bands are the at rich regions and the lighter bands represent the gc rich region the second type is r banding the r banding refers to the reverse chromosome banding and it is the reversal of g banding and q banding in r banding technique the dark band represents the gc rich region and the light band represents the at rich region r banding technique also uses jimsa stain but before staining with jimsa the slide is heated at 88 degree celsius in a buffer solution heating causes denaturation of dna so firstly thermal denaturation then staining the third type is q banding that refers to the cunacrine banding in this banding technique the cunacrine stain or cunacrine mustard dye is used for staining it is the simplest and the first chromosomal banding method the chromosomes show a characteristic pattern of bright bands on a darker background the bands appear only when the chromosomes are exposed to the uv light UV light causes the quinacrine molecule to shine therefore parts of the chromosome intercalated with quinacrine shine brightly whereas other parts remain dark the q banding is used to identify particular chromosomes in a cell and also to determine if chromosome is structurally abnormal quinacrine is carcinogenic in q banding the dark bands represent at rich region and the light bands represent the gc rich region the fourth type is c banding it refers to the centromeric heterochromatin staining in this technique before using jimsa dye the cell is pretreated with alkali that is the denaturation with barium hydroxide centromeric heterochromatin and distal part of Y chromosome containing highly repetitive DNA sequence is used to stain by C banding technique. Darkly stained regions will be the heterochromatin. Here is the table that represent the type and the area stained by this technique. The first type is G banding and the area stained is chromosome arms, mostly repetitive AT rich DNA. Second type is R banding. the area stained is chromosome arm mostly unique gc rich uh, gc rich dna the third type is q banding and the area stained is chromosome arms mostly repetitive at rich dna and the fourth type is c banding centromere region of each chromosome and distal portion of y chromosome highly repetitive mostly at rich dna so let us talk about the applications of the chromosomal banding so the first application is chromosome banding is used to study the heterozygosity or heterogeneous nature of the chromosome we need chromosome banding second is to identify chromosomal abnormalities and rearrangements in genetic diseases like down syndrome the additional 21st chromosome that results in down syndrome can be found using chromosomal banding the third application 
is it can be used to establish the relationship between the two species and how each has evolved for example chimpanzees and humans the fourth application is these bands describe the location of genes on a chromosome the fifth application is to identify normal and abnormal chromosomes for clinical and research purposes in chromosome karyotyping.